we're doing everything we can to stay safe. Now that thousands of students are back in classrooms for in-person learning, school nurses are also back at work on top of the normal bumps, bruises, and stomach aches that they're in charge of working on. Contact tracing for hundreds of kids with COVID-19 is yet another of their tasks. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how school nurses are busier than ever, keeping kids and their families safe. We're doing everything we can to stay safe. They are the unsung heroes of the hallways. Patience, um, a lot of patience. Dispensing band-aids, checking for lice, and now leading the charge to stop COVID-19 in the classroom. It's definitely been a change. Never realized going to nursing school you would be in a pandemic. <laughs> Catherine Price is the nurse manager at Anderson County Schools, and her work is nonstop. Right before Christmas break, I, I just I felt like I needed a mental health day. <laughs> um, you know, I was getting really worn out. Her team contact traced more than 300 cases last semester, and now they're gearing up for an onslaught after the holidays. Our cases are going to go up because people are all congregating. She says they found fewer cases of in-school transmission, but more household spread. The range of symptoms is wide, so is the number of close contacts. While elementary students typically have two or three. High schools, it really depends on are they in any kind of sports. The system counts on parents to call in when they notice symptoms or get a positive test. That way we could go ahead and notify the principals or the teachers. Um, and then we also started our COVID report to notify the health department to get that confirmed return to school date for those kids. As nurses work to keep families healthy, and kids back in school. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Cole Sullivan. Anderson County Schools did go back to class today for both virtual and in-person learners.